Hi, I'm Melissa Benoist. I am currently on the show Supergirl on the CW, and I am a survivor of domestic violence. So I don't normally do things like this, but I've written something that I want to share. Um, I'm gonna read it out loud, and I'm quite nervous, so bear with me. I decided to share my experience with domestic violence as a part of my healing process. I felt like it gave, it was gonna give me strength to close some of the doors of pain that I had been kind of ruminating in for a while. The stark truth is, I learned what it felt like to be pinned down and slapped repeatedly, punched so hard the wind was knocked out of me, dragged by my hair across pavement, head butted, pinched till my skin broke, shoved into a wall so hard the drywall broke, choked, I learned to lock myself in rooms, but quickly stopped because the door was inevitably broken down. I learned not to value any of my property, replaceable and irreplaceable. I learned not to value myself. There was definitely a cycle and almost um, this like sickening routine um, that we developed. And that is something that's so insidious about domestic violence is that it does, it does escalate. And then he threw something at my face again, only this time it was significantly worse. It was a blow to my face with his iPhone. The impact tore my iris, nearly ruptured my eyeball, lacerated my skin and broke my nose. My left eye swelled shut, I had a fat lip, blood was coursing down my face and I can remember immediately screaming at the top of my lungs. We made up a flimsy story together. I had tripped and fallen on the stairs of our deck and hit my face on a potted plant. I just made excuse after excuse after excuse. You get into this habit of excusing everything and um, lying, essentially. I, I became a very good liar to people that I really loved and had never lied to before. He drove me to the hospital. And when the ER director, doctors made him leave the room and cops came to question me at my hospital bed, I told them our transparent story that I'm sure they'd heard versions of before. The side of you that keeps the secret and harbors this horrific experience and violence and, and abuse and mental torture, it's um, breaking out of that is, uh, I have found it to be one of the most enlightening and strengthening and um, informative moments of my life. And emotionally after that, I was done. I keenly felt that whatever I thought love was, it certainly wasn't what I had been going through. I was so tired of living the way I'd been living, but it felt too late to get out. I think I'd want to share with women today that are experiencing it now, especially during this pandemic, that there is help out there. People do care. You just because it might, it, and it might feel like you are more trapped than ever and like it's getting, and it's worse than it's ever been, but it is possible and you deserve to, to have a different life and to find love that doesn't hurt you and that exists.